Comfy has always been a unique fairy type with triage giving it plus three priority on its healing moves like Draining Kiss and Synthesis, with access to Calm Mind to boost its special attack even further. Considering some of the biggest threats in OU, Great Tusk, Iron Valiant, and Roaring Moon are weak to fairy, Comfy actually has a niche in being able to pick them off. So today we'll be trying out Calm Mind Comfy in OU with a team that actually won in the Smogon Premier League tournament. Let's see how it does. I'll be honest, I haven't played a lot of standard OU in a minute and I probably should considering World Cup is coming up and plus there's suspect testing Volcarona so I'm gonna need a ladder in the OU tier anyway I got this comfy team from Maverick Shooters I believe it's edited because it was for a tournament game and uh, this comfy team actually put in some work in SPL I'm very excited about this first game because it looks really really strong here shout out to them for the squad it's on my website pokey.com but yeah think about this what's your favorite fairy comfy is my probably one of my favorite fairies besides Xerneas I know yeah I like try hard broken legendaries that's my thing but yeah, I'm gonna start with uh, Rillaboom just because Primarina is insane into most of my Pokemon. So that's kind of why uh, I decided to start that off there. We can U-turn. They do have Glamora, I guess, that could come in, which is, I mean, low-key annoying, but I can wrap. It's been throughout their team for the most part. This mod's super good there, so. Um, I just U-turn, like I said, Corviknight makes a lot of sense too. And that allows me to bring out my Heatran and potentially get up my rocks. I am in a Balloon, which shouldn't matter too much here besides Glamora. And if they want to U-turn, they can get burnt, which means that Comfy will destroy this. Comfy with Terra Poison actually just straight up wins. I just need to get rid of Primarina. So get a Brox, Primarina comes out. Even if it's specs, Rillaboom is still the correct play. Regardless, right? Even if it's this is offense, right? So I gotta I gotta use the momentum and I gotta try my best. Um so I'm going Rillaboom. I don't actually want to knock the Corviknight though, because I want to have the strong knock from my uh Roaring Moon, but considering they're not Rocky Helmet anyway, yeah, I still think U-Turn's still the correct play. I'll go for it every single time, 10 out of 10 times, uh, just because I can bring out you, and kind of once again do the exact same thing. Uh, they should still go Primarina, so I'm just trying to f figure out if this is Salt Vest, if this is like Custat Berry, I mean, I won't know, but I want to see if they take Stealth Rock and don't have Leftovers, because that does make a difference in terms of Comfy beating them 1v1. I gotta be able to go for multiple calm minds and, and win from there. And once I get a Terra Poison off, I do beat Glamora as well. So, and with the grassy terrain giving me the grassy seed recovery, I should be in a good spot. Yeah, if you do enjoy this content, let me know. Feel free to leave a like. And actually, no, I will go for Knock. Why not? Let's keep let's keep Corviknight low. It helps Comfy win later. And also getting rid of Primarina's item uh, goes a long way too. I w I'm not in danger of dying to a Moonblast, I feel. Anyway, so beautiful. And now with no grassy terrain up, I can safely go Heatran one more time. If they want to defog, that's fine. I think they should roost from this position. They might even stay in and try and go for a U-turn this turn because I've doubled every single time. But now that I get the chip on Primarina, or I mean, I'm talking about Magma Storm, like I'm gonna hit. What am I even talking about? What am I even talking about? Like this Magma Storm gonna hit. What am I even talking about? Yeah, yeah, what am I even talking about? Who am I? Who do I think I am? <laughs> you ain't hitting nothing. Moonblast served it how much? 31, that's resisted. Uh, I'll live. I'll do a good chunk, but I'll live. Yep. I'll live for sure. Uh, and I'm willing to potentially... I think I just want to set up on this thing with Comfy. I'll be honest. I think I'm going to set up with Comfy. Is there going to go Corviknight right now? I, I, I really... I'm just going to go. I'm, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. <laughs> I want them to default. I want them to do whatever. I want them to basically mess up. And I'm going to go for it. If they go Glamora, I super beat it 1v1 with Terra Poison. That doesn't do anything for them. Again, they could try a Mortal Spin. I will Terrastalize into a Poison type in, in front of this thing. And then the worst thing they can do is Earth Power me. But I do have Synthesis as well. Uh, Mortal Spin would be a wasted turn. And we have another turn of Grassy Turn. I, I, I was talking about being patient, but I got impatient. <laughs> I got very impatient. Let's go for another calm mind. Let, let's just straight up win this game right here, right now. Why not? Let's just win this game right here, right now. Let's see if I actually end up, and I can actually go for another calm mind here and get a little greedy uh, because I'll provide I don't get crit immediately. I do get the synthesis guaranteed recovery in the next turn. So let's go. Triage, just a beautiful ability. Truly is. They go for meteor beam right there. Oof. That hurt. All right. We're stored power right now because it's a guaranteed KO. Perfect. 
And I do have the guaranteed synthesis. Like I said, nothing on their team should be able to beat me in one hit. Blaziken comes out. They should fear Draining Kiss. Maybe they don't, though. I wonder if I Draining Kiss how much I do. So unless they're Choice Ben, I get too much recovery from this Draining Kiss. So I'm going to go for it here. Uh, and they won't be able to knock me out anyway. Beautiful. And that... Look, look at... Look a little, look a little comfy go. Look a little comfy go. I'm so glad. No, the upper hand. They're both plus. That's wild. <laughs> Yo, that's wild. But then they forfeit anyway. Let's go. And that's a comfy sweep to start the lot. I really wanted to use this team when I was suspect testing for Volcarona, but I'll just use a, a team that I think can go 30 and 0, and we'll record that hopefully tomorrow. But, you know, getting a little practice in. But yeah, squad was really fun. Uh, like I said, their team was relatively weak to this. Uh, this not being Focus Sash made it a little bit scary because they ended up with a little bit more damage than I expected. Look at a little upper hand right there, though. That would never kill. But yeah, and obviously if Corviknight comes out, I'm good. I just Synthesis and then I Calm Mind up. I get plus six. I store power, Draining Kiss, yada, 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 yada. But yeah, I didn't know. I do currently have my Meteor Burst available, my Draco Ice Shaker available. And uh, for code AIM20, which is only going to be around till the subathon ends. And I'll be honest, we only have four hours left on the clock today. So I know I put the final day on two different thumbnails for it, but that's because I truly believe it won't be the final day. I think today will be the final day of the subathon uh, just because there's only four hours left on the clock. Obviously, that's up to people who come through and want to, you know, add time to the timer. But uh, if you want to get it for 20% off, now is absolutely the time. You can get it in the Draco bundle as well and get my Pokemon card. Uh, this is a stainless steel ice shaker. Keeps your cold stuff cold, keeps your hot stuff hot. And my Meteor Burst is hydration, so zero caffeine. But if you want to get anything caffeinated from Advanced GG, make sure you're 18+. Plus. Let's get another game. All right, bunch of threats on that team. I wonder if this is a comfy game, though. That Kiram is absolutely insane to deal with. Jeez, I got to lead off with really, like heat right here. Kiram just smokes me. Exactly. Like, look at every other Pokemon on my team. Look at Kiram. So, we'll see what they are. I'm going to go right for... I don't think that's Specs. Bro... It's like, what's even the point of Magma Storm? Why do I even click this move? And unfortunately, that's not Specs, which means an Earth Power will be coming out here. And I'm going to be forced to switch. So let's go Roaring Moon on the Earth Power. Oh, it's going to be a Scale Shot set with Freeze Dry or... Huh, I'm actually not sure. Is that Scale Shot? Oh, it's just standard Freeze Dry. Okay. I mean, that's good, right? I'll go for a knock again. Getting rid of Kyurem is just too necessary for this team to survive. Um, rough start because I could have Magma Stormed and then went Roaring Moon anyway. And I think Roaring Moon actually could have swept them. But I also think Halucha has a chance and I also think Comfy has a chance. So just doing this goes a long way in my opinion. Um, Grassy Glide is relatively free. I'm, I'm going to U-turn though. I will live one Freeze Dry. I'll, li I'll barely live it, but I'll live it. Jeez, dude, what? All right, I'm going for game. I've had an... I, I was completely underestimated this mod. Let's go for Calm Mind. Let's go absolutely for game. Yeah, get him, get him any future sets as you want, fam. I don't know who you're going to. But I'm living every hit always. I just had enough. Like, obviously Zamazenta, like has potential to roar me. Um... This won't kill me. Earthquake into that is not going to kill anything. Yeah, yeah, no way. Yeah, so we sent this up. The snow is annoying. But Draining Kiss does give me too much recovery anyway, so yeah, I can just do that. Draining Kiss again, and that is uh, another comfy. I just, you know, when in doubt, calm mine out, right? Terra Steel, they heavy slam. I mean, we're a poison type though. We're gonna go for stored power. They had a billion percent off. Go for another one. This is not Iron Head, so look at Comfy 1v1. Yo, <laughs> this might be the GOAT. This might be the GOAT. And I just drain and kiss basically everything back. They didn't, they didn't even SD, which they kind of had to, but I assume they thought they'd be too KO'd. But yeah, they basically had to SD there to do anything. And that is another comfy sweep when, again, when in doubt, comfy out. That's two in a row. That's two in a row. I wish this video was already at 30 minutes because of two great comfy showcases. Let's go ahead and get into the game. So I don't want to say this is another comfy game, but it, it, I mean, it looks like it, right? It just straight up looks like it. 
This is also the first game where I feel like Great Tusk is a good lead. <laughs> like, look at their team. It actually does look really strong here. Let's go, my homie. Hey, I don't mind uh, Terra into a bop. I really don't. I'm gonna click Hello and Rush. Uh, actually, I can calm mine up on this with Terra Poison, right? Sarah is like the only threat. I'm gonna Hello and Rush. Yeah, I, I, great. Great turn. Could not have asked for a better turn. Oh, they're also taking the comfy route, which is immediately lose a mon and then immediately start combining up. I, I, I concur. This move sucks. It truly does. It truly, and they got a spadef drop too. I taunt them. Because then they can only matcha gacha. Probably my only way of hitting this. They Terra, then I can Woodhammer them, so that's okay. Sucks, but it is what it is. I can Woodhammer them, so I'm not, I'm not too worried. Also, your natural typing on Comfy looks insane in this game, so. Yeah, we're all right. Hit him with an acro, do some decent damage. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead and 1v1 me. I'm going to Woodhammer the hell out of you right now. And you know what? I think it's going to kill without Terra. So if it's Max, Max, this is a roll. I don't give a damn. I'm clicking the Woodhammer. I should have gave a damn. I should have gave a damn. A damn should have been given. Um, I still think Comfy can win, especially with no item, but... Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I actually have to Terra Grass, which sucks, man. No! Get out of there! I really didn't want to tear grass there, but I mean, I still do have the, I do have the tools still, so that's good. I definitely have the tools. I think we have to sack Great Tusk here, keep you alive because your grassy glide's still very strong. Spirit Break does nothing. Go Comfy. I think I misplayed actually by going hard Comfy. I gotta go you first. Nice. Let him hit me there, and then I just go, I got to you. Click some calm minds. I needed my defense. I need to be able to beat Poltergeist, so. Oh, it's bulk up. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I won. Let's go. Ah, comfy. That's what you get for burning my ments. My fake ments. Give me that mon. Give me that whole mon. Who next? Taunt ends in one turn too, so I'll easily live Corviknight's hit. If this guy Iron Head, he they deserve it. Ah, Comfy! What a great mo what is that, three in a row? This is one of the greatest showcases of all time. Like actually one of the greatest showcases of all time. I I, I think that crit is so dumb. Uh, what about what about the burn into Spadef drop so I can't, you know, weaken you? You know, I guess we don't remember those turns. It's okay, though. We don't need to remember everything. As long as we remember the Titan. Give me another one. Comfy, hey, let's go. You? Slurped. A little kiss. Consent, though. Great Tusk? That's three in a row with Comfy. This is a little demon, yo. This is one of my favorite mods. It's one of my favorite fairy types, easily. So you know we just won a, a bunch of games. Uh, now there's a, a, a gouging fire. Um, I don't think we can cheese ourselves out of this one, but let's see. They're gonna lead off a Torkoal. I lead off a Great Tusk. They're gonna switch out to Hatterene. It's gonna eject them into one of these demons. I'm gonna lose a Pokemon, etc., etc., etc. Maybe I should have knocked first. I don't know if knocking a Hello Rush kills. I don't have CTC. With, oh, definitely kills. I don't have CTC with me <laughs> to, to tell me this kills 97.15% of the time. So, hmm. Low key. Is, is this the, is this the one team? All Sun teams look the same. I can't even tell if this is the Sun team I have. They literally all look the same. Some of this stuff is vile. Oh my God, Jack. We were, we were making some, some disgusting, some disgusting teams. Okay, it's different, but uh, I'm just trying to decide if this is Specs or not. Cause it makes a difference. I guess Lucha does technically win, but this, I have to weaken both of these to win. Hmm. I don't want us that comfy. I think synthesis in sun sounds broken. 
And I definitely don't want to sack Rillaboom because Rillaboom helps my homie. I'm going to sack E-Train. Maybe they'll drag dragon move. They did not dragon move. Okay, so this this does one of two things. Uh, it either forces the dragon move or... Which can allow me to do something or they terrestrialize there, which is phenomenal for me. Hell yeah. Like that's that's great. I'm faster than you. This is plus one. I don't know who you going. And I got the brick break. I got the brick break, not the earthquake. Okay, good scout. I'm not sure why they did that though, because this dies to earth. That literally would have put it in range of earthquake. So I'm not sure why they did that. I'm not sure. If they end up sacking Torkoal for this, I'm good. Also, this is... In, yeah, that doesn't kill me yet. All right, that's a good Mon to get rid of. So Torkoal can come out and KO me now. I love this poke. It's, it's great on Sun. <laughs> it's, you, know, it's, you know what's crazy? Sun was up, right? So when Sun ended, I would have gotten another attack boost. Well, I already got an attack boost because of Protosynthesis, but... I guess I would have kept the same attack boost. Never mind. Imagine it's stacked on top of that. Like it, it, it kind of does, right? Like if you get speed, it, it becomes it becomes attack instead. If if you know the, the highest stat is there, but whatever. Crazy, crazy uh, live so far. I might try and make this one a little bit shorter, just because I'm having a lot of fun with Comfy. But we'll see if I lose the third, uh, the third or fourth battle, and then I decide we can't end the loss. Oh God! All right, the anti Comfy squad, <laughs> the goon squad is here. No. Insane matchup for Roaring Moon. What the hell? <laughs> like, actually insane. No. It actually looks crazy. Hello? Hmm. I want rocks. I still get up rocks in front. They can't Dragon Dance and attack me at the same time. Uh, I, I am, like, insanely weak to this Pokemon, by the way. I legitimately need damage. That is super worth... I mean, I'll live. If they want to Terra here, they can't Terra these guys. And then that opens up Roaring Moon. So I'm going to go Comfy here. See if we can force a little switch. There's a Terra. Um, could still be the beginning of the end, though. I think I just Draining Kiss again. I don't know if Grassy Glide smokes them the way I wanted to. Lucha and Acro after. I don't know how much this does. I'm pretty sure it does like 60. 50, damn. Okay. We can go you. We're not out yet, by the way. It's not looking great, but we're not out yet. Maybe I shouldn't have Terra there because then I could have Terra with a Lucha and probably won from the spot. Yeah, I probably I, that was probably a misplay. Because I could have terra and then smacked them on. They're going to go in DD here, right? I'll go Roy Moon. Uh, they should go for the Encore. Worst case, right? Because if I Dragon Dance, they lose. Again. So they should definitely go for Encore again. So there's no point in Dragon Dancing. Homie's going to come out, though. Homie's a threat. This is Homie. For those that don't know who Homie is. My bad. We want to we close. Close. Tuskathy. Insane. They would have literally. That was, I mean, that was a crazy SD. Didn't they die to not? Uh, maybe. Yeah, it was plus attack. They super died, right? Even without an item? I should have probably calc though. Plus select. Attack. Iron Boulder. Even without an item. Yeah, they super died. Crazy SD. It worked though. Can't be mad. Good game. GG. Yeah, like I said, I, I did not expect the SD there because if I kill that Mon, don't have to really worry too much about everything else. But it's fine. Let's go ahead. We got this next one. This is not looking comfortable, I'll be honest. Ting Lu, this guy, this guy, every damn Mon on that team. It does look pretty okay for these guys though. Hmm. And once again, Kira messes me up. Rocks up, chip away at least Skarmory sturdy, which makes a difference. 
I'll go for it. Maybe taunt them after. Taunt. No spike for you. They're going to go for Ruination here. I'll still Magma Storm anyway. Oh my god, please land. This is the first land I can land. Yo, this move has not landed today, guys. I just want to be honest. This move has not landed today. Like, one bit. At all. At all. I need to weaken Ting Lu. I actually should have trapped Ting Lu. I need to 100% weaken Ting Lu. Wait, that is a really bad... They, did they expect that to miss again? Because now they just gave me you. You're stuck here. You are stuck here with me. All right, we got rid of Slow King. That's amazing. Should I Terra and beat this too? No, because I don't want to get smoked by this guy. This guy already smokes me as it is. I'm assuming they either Terra Ghost with their Ting Lu. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I'll encore them to Whirlwind. Hmm. Perfect. They're not going to let me spin here. Had long rush. Right into Dirge is great. Right into Dirge is great. Go for the knock on Kiram coming in too. Ooh, a little chippy chip. That's nice. Okay, Dirge being basically gone is great. That Mon being weakened is great. Comfig can win, maybe? Uh, I don't know how much you're going to take. Do I live Ice Beam? Let's find out. Yeah, I do. Hey, no hazards for me. Let's go. And I can hit him with a hell on rush here, baby. Great damage. Great damage. Cannot have asked for a better turn there. I'm going to assume clicking Grassy Glide is not a misplay here. Get a little bit of recovery too, so I can actually come in on hazards and stuff. All right. I'm glad that worked out for me. Skarm comes out. Little demon. Nice little body press there. Let's see if we can land a, uh, one more Magma Storm to save my life. Land one. Thank you. I just need chip. All right, will you turn here? Always. Encore them into that. SD up. So we kill Skarm. I'm pretty sure you die from this percentage. This is adamant. I think we win. If they slack off, then I can Encore them into that, and then I get a kill anyway. So I, I think we win. Oh, well, they lost anyway now. I had, I had zero reason to switch. Oh, they probably thought I'd go out into, what's it called, and, and win the game. Uh, Roaring Moon. No, I'm going to win the game with my Halucha right in front of you. CC, let's go. The Terra live. Oof. Good game, dude. Nice. And that was our loot. Yo, Magma Storm, guys, is very bad. I'm a, but this is somebody who's been using Magma Storm forever. I think this Magma Storm was the reason I quit one of the road top 10. It had to be. I, I remember some of those episodes being three hours long because this mon refused it. It was a necessary evil back then, though. You needed it to trap and beat, like, Toxapex and stuff. Let's get into the game. So this kind of looks like a comfy game, unless this is Thunder Wave, which I could see it being. Um, Love of Threats, a Dragapult's annoying. Very annoying. All right, they lit off with the wrong Pokemon into me, so I can get a U-turn off here. Uh, and they do have to fear it. They won't kill me if they even stay in, but they do have to fear it. They should go out into Corviknight here. And I'm assuming that'll allow them to bring out... They're gonna go Samurott, so I'm gonna actually get a Brox. Like they'll definitely go Sam. They're not gonna go Sloking. That's very. That's a misplay. And if they want a U-turn to break my balloon, well, you risk potential flame body. Yeah, Samurai was always coming out there. 
Hard great tusk. Ooh, on flip turn. Interesting. Interesting. Please take rocks if you go in Amherst. No. Okay. I'll knock off your heavy duty boots just for later. I don't know if this is a bulk up variant. I do know that my Comfy looks really, really strong in this game. So I actually do want to get chip on them because if they're Terra Steel, I want to make sure I don't have to deal with that for later. So yeah, I think that was worth. They're going to Grassy again. Hmm. This also opens up Roaring Moon. Oh, just smack my. This also bro uh, opens up Roaring Moon, them being that weekend. So that's great. Yeah, I'll let them hit me again. Go you. Always. I'm going to Grassy Glide this turn. They tear a steel, they tear a steel, but they don't. Perfect. So, giant threat gone. Great tusk is over. They're going to U turn here. So, go Luch. As I go U, Terra Ghost. Can, I mean, I, I could also just go for a game right in front of this thing. I feel like I can. Hmm. They're going to U turn. Always. Right. Oh, they, they didn't. Nice. So, I can actually get a rocks in front of this threat. Let's go. I'll take it. Hell yeah. This, if they set up on me, they risk losing. So I'm going to Magma Storm. This move is garbage. This move is garbage. It's actually so garbage. Holy. I don't know if they're AV or, or Scarf too, because Flip Turn doesn't reveal enough. We CC here. Smoke that Mon. They go for Iron Defense. I just Encore them into that. I might just won the game, to be honest. I did that, by the way, because even though CC still killed, uh, plus four is a guarantee kill and everything, so... Yeah, it should be... It should be, like, plus four, like, even if they tear a steel on an Amorous or some crap, I'm pretty sure it still smokes. So that's why I went for that Encore there, but this should be a Halucha win. Yep. All right, we're going to end on that. Nice and short, 27-minute live. Comfey went overtime! You know, I actually won this game, like, from this position. This is the only terror I was scared about because when I terror poison, everything else, your earth, your weak earth powers ain't gonna affect me. Your flows won't affect me. I'm, okay, your Dragapult, whatever. Your Corviknight's Iron Defense Body Press, so we're chilling in front of that. And Slow King, the only thing, oh, I guess technically it's not the only thing, but Slow King could have obviously had Thunder Wave. That was another thing I mentioned in the beginning. So ended up climbing uh, almost 100 points today, which is nice considering it's my first time playing OU. A real, a real OU in a minute. This team is really cool. I'm glad that Comfy really did shine in the OU tier. Like it, you, I don't think anybody can deny that it shined in this OU live. So leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I'm on my way to half a million subs by the end of the year. And I'll see you guys on what could be the final day on the subathon. You know, we'll, we'll see what happens. It could, it could be, it could not be. I could start and then an hour later, we could have 10 hours on the timer instead of four hours on the timer. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. And like I also said, Feel free to uh, check out my Meteor Burst, check out my flavor, and um, the Draco Shaker. We only have about 25% left of these in stock if you want to pick them up. But Meteor Burst is there, so if you want to refill, now's the time. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.